Alrighty guys, finally getting a chance to start it. Second day. I actually worked a little bit, maybe 30, 40 minutes last night, and ended up putting the um, clamps on. Um, they are a little offset right now, so I can't even reach the bolts to tighten it up, or the bolt won't go through the clamps back there. Um, it has, it's all, uh, the top and the bottom are both the same, so obviously the bottom's gonna be the one that's gonna give me a pain in the ass. But I'm gonna uh, torque down the turbo to the engine, or motor. Uh, 41, 42 foot pounds of torque, I think I'll do 41. I recall right, I gotta check it before I do it. Uh, start putting that stuff together, make sure the turbo's on. Um, <clears throat> and then I'm gonna start working on the up pipes, mix, hopefully they flex enough to mate properly and then crank those guys down. The down pipe's gonna give me some issues too. I can already tell it's a little offset and when we lined up the uh, bracket hole on the bottom of the down pipe, the, the, the bolt that goes to the transmission mount um, is actually not lined up so we're probably gonna have to fight that too. All right, hyperlapse incoming. quick if two front ones are in um, this is actually lined up with the dowels slash guide pins not moving okay now I'm seeing here see that how close that is the bolt won't even go through that area uh, it is so tight I may have to hammer that heat shield down a little bit uh, get it to work and it's the same situation in on the other side Right there so uh, bolts won't go through those heat shields so I think I will have to hammer it down just slightly just to open this area up you can see the uh, bolt hole right in the middle of the screen same thing here bolt hole right there in the middle I can just make it through right there that would be great but it needs to be widened up a little bit all right so I was actually able to get the left side in, well, passenger side bolt in the back. Um, I used a quarter inch extension and a long socket 13. Um, so that actually made it through. I was able to wiggle the screw in with the magnet rod and now it's in. I'm just tighten it up real quick. I'll try to see if I can do the same thing with the other side and it's hand tightened. All right, so I was able to get the left side in left side or driver's side back bolt <clears throat> what I did was I used that same 13 and it got stuck here for a little bit but I then I kept prying it just a little bit all right the heat shield is very soft obviously but once it's made it through after prying around with this uh, socket an extension I was able to drop the screw you see it drop the bolt in there Again, it's nice having a magnet piece right there. Boom. So now I can get it with a extension.
All right, got the uh, pedestal bolts torqued down 41 foot pounds. I uh, went over around twice to make sure that they were hit. Um, now I'm going to work on the pipes. All right, working from the wheel well now. I'm going to work on the lower hub pipe right there. Oh, hey, switch this fucker out, man. All right, this is actually one that's the closest um, together. So I'm just gonna loosen that bolt right there, or the nut all the way out, and see if I can catch the loops down there and start tightening it up with a open wrench and uh, see if it'll start pulling together. But that's the closest one so far. The up pipe, up pipe, can't see it. It's kind of offset, so I'm gonna have to fight that um, with the down pipe now, hold on, I'm trying to zoom out here. I may, I did not end up loosening the clamp, uh, the clamp right there in the middle of the screen. So it's actually tightened down, but the bracket is not lining up with the holes over there. So I may have to loosen that up in order to torque it around and make sure it matches up with the turbo exhaust side. And, uh, See where it goes. I'm not going to be filming this even on time lapse because it's a pain in the ass to have the camera. It's, the camera's literally, or the phone's literally sitting in the only opening that I can work with. Um, I may put the camera up, up on the top and uh, hyperlapse it, but we'll see. All right. This actually wasn't that bad as I said in the, earlier that it was actually lined up, so um, I just had to get this thing focused for y'all get the up pipe nudged up and it actually just fell in place look how clean that is like it's actually uh together all right um the v clamp is already attached so all i do i gotta do is crank it out um, i'm gonna leave it at this position it should clear the up pipe um, i want to leave this in this position so i can hit the v clamps if i do ever do need to take this off again i have access to both of them uh, be able to knock it off here with the whatever I need to loosen it up with so there we go bottom up pipe is in guys all right so real quick I ended up doing the actual down pipe itself um, so that clamp right there in the middle of the screen loosen that up you don't have to back it out all the way just loosen it up obviously you took the bracket um, screw or bolt from the that bolt right there obviously that's off and you got to come all the way down and loosen your down pipe uh, to exhaust back take this off like it has to be completely loose that way you can wiggle the whole down pipe itself and angle it. I had the sun come out and actually help me angle it. So um, we, he was able to twist and rotate until the down pipe actually, or the, yeah, the Cobra pipe actually locked into the back of the turbo and I was able to put that on. So I clamped that on, put the V clamp on it, make it tight, um, did the frame bracket to the transmission, then I lined this up, make sure everything was straight here. Uh, equal amounts of uh, distance between the downpipe transmission and the frame tighten that up and then I came back and cranked this uh, uh, Clamp right here So it's in Now look at this That's all I had to work with uh, To get to that so you're gonna have it need to have extensions and long sockets deep sockets in order to get those uh, things set all right that's done. Down pipes in. Um, the bottom up pipe, driver's side up pipes on. I'm gonna work on the passenger side up up pipe. Weird. So I just now got on top of the truck after showing you the down pipe. Come back here, wiggle this, and it just snapped right in. Guys, I guess once we got the down pipe and the lower up pipe in, this thing lined up properly. Done. I mean, shit. Can't be any more perfect than that. I'm just gonna clamp it down now.
All right, dudes. Got that done. Oh, sheesh. I'm gonna start cleaning all this stuff up. Um, what I'll do next too is the coolant line. After I clean that, then I'm gonna pop the oil hole right there and uh, squirt a couple ounces of uh, oil in there while I spin the tur the compressor wheel, vacuum all this stuff up. There's dirt everywhere, and uh, do some more scrubbing. Okay, so I'm probably not gonna get into this for. So this thing breaks down, I guess. Or CP4 next, what do you think? CP4.2 stroker? Yeah, buddy. All right, I'm gonna get to cleaning. I'm pretty sure you guys don't wanna watch that, but uh, I'll show you end results when I'm done. All right, got the coolant line in. You do need to have that pedestal installed. Uh, what I did was just sprayed a very slight uh, silicone lubricant on the O-rings itself. Uh, there's an O-ring here between the block and the uh, turbo. There, it's a nipple that goes in. Same thing with this. So I did a little bit of a silicone spray on each slid it there, wiggled it in, made sure that it didn't get uh, kinked or pinched, and then tighten this down. All right, solid. It's in past the nipple here, clamped on, ready to go. Did a little bit of cleanup. I can't see if you can't tell here. There we go. Scraped as much as I could uh, from the valley, about as clean as it'll get. Uh, all that dirt back there was from the CCV before it was removed. And there's oil all over this side of the, the uh, engine. Over here is not, uh, not caked up. I still gotta wipe that down, but did a little bit of cleaning in there. All right, I'm gonna call it quits for tonight again. It's starting to get real cold, 33 degrees now. Uh, it's gonna be high 35 tomorrow, so it's not gonna matter, but the sun will at least be out. I should be able to put all this stuff together uh, tomorrow. First start tomorrow afternoon, I'm hoping. Alright guys.